Welcome to Matt Bayeska YouTube channel, another day to talk about a fascinating, gorgeous uh, crystal. <laughs> I've just got a collection down here on the floor. I've uh, been working on them now for a couple of weeks now, they're gorgeous. And uh, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's get, let's get going. Let's talk about this great crystal. Let me show it you first and let me get a screenshot. <laughs> hey, there you go, look at them. So welcome to Pink Tourmaline. Isn't it gorgeous? So you've got your natural and you've got your polished. Absolutely gorgeous, both amazing crystals. So let me show you, there you go. There. There you go. It's sweetie time, look it's a candy bar. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the candy shop, <laughs> look. Gorgeous. Okay, so, and then I'll just show you some exquisite pieces as well. Look, yummy, yummy, beautiful. This one. Yes, lovely jubbly. So, I worked with this piece and I didn't know what it was for many, many months. I got it given as a gift when I first started and uh, loved it. It kind of broke a little bit here and there, but I just loved it. And I loved working with it with children. I had a fascinating, um, probably about three months working with kids. And it was due to one child who was extremely uh, sick, ill and uh, depressed. Anyway, this child came with a mum and I gave mum healing first, which was a shock uh, to the mum, but that needed to happen. And then I worked on uh, this lovely little child. I think he was around about nine, something like that. And uh, he was a gorgeous, gorgeous sensitive. And uh, as we did the healing and I worked with him on different, on different uh, matters, he got stronger and stronger and every time I used to take this crystal out on the healing session and lay it on the heart and uh, just let it let it do its work. Uh, Pink Tourmaline does its work on the heart very, very well. It has an energetic frequency of comfort. It makes you feel safe. It makes you feel secure. And that's one of the things that I love about it. Now, um, the dual uh, energy of this, the mother stone, which is the white and then the pink together work really well. It enhances the energy of um, uh, love uh, is predominantly what it is. That's why it's on the heart. That's why it really, it works best just here uh, on the heart energy. So what I noticed with this little boy is every time he came, he smiled more. So this crystal brings out a lot of happiness and joy. It starts to awaken you to everything that you forgot about and lost. And normally the darkness, the fear, the worry, the anxiety seems to disappear. So I found that um, I gave him my piece at the very end, which was probably about 18 months. It took about 18 months because things can take a long time if you've been um, traumatized as a child. Anyway, uh, he got this piece. It was. It was probably the size of a, of a strawberry. And uh, for some reason I couldn't find, find out what it was and I wasn't really that bothered. So, and, and this used to work alongside black tourmaline as well. So for instance, these two together worked really well. So uh, should I say what it was? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody would know, but he lost his sister. So they were, they were um, twins, but they were, uh, there's twins and then there's uh, twins which are identical twins, right? So you can imagine the suffering of the years that losing uh, part of you. Um, so the black tourmaline um, against the pink tourmaline would work really well together. So what I would do is I would uh, put the black tourmaline because I did have a long piece as well and I did have a couple of chunky pieces. I'd put them in the hand of the little boy and the pink tourmaline would sit on the heart and I'd give the healing session. And I always knew that the, the pain, the suffering that would clear would end up being part of the grief process. 
and the strengthening of the heart would be the pink tourmaline. So I would often work on the head, on the heart, um, and sometimes on the stomach, depending. This was more of grief, energy, and trauma. So I don't wanna to swear too much on black tourmaline. You all know I love it, but pink tourmaline has this uh, great energy and it's like a, um, a blasting frequency is constant as well. And sometimes you can feel it more than others. <laughs> that feeling, <laughs> you feel like that when you wear it. If you're going through a process of um, detox, um, spiritual detox, uh, traumatic pain, uh, deep rooted issues, um, especially if it's to do with the heart, if it's, in, it's, if it's involved with the heart energy. So I never charged the mother or the child Ever because it was an affair of the heart and things like that never did I charge so it was always important to me that they would come often and I would be able to see the process of is this working I can honestly say with my hand on my heart that pink tourmaline is one of the most beautiful crystals for children to help them over grief whether it's losing their their mum uh, their sister their brother a dog whether it's their grandma if they've been in the um in the experience of losing somebody they love i would suggest that this is probably one of the most powerful crystals you can give them to help ease their pain and strengthen them back up to some kind of um uh, balance i mean i've always said this you, you know you, you don't really heal when you love somebody you love you just become used to it you you, you just get used to it and, and life changes um but with this crystal i can definitely say it eases your pain far quicker and you will overcome and you will become stronger than those uh, painful thoughts that you have so in theory the thought of of um, us losing somebody comes down into the heart that grief energy needs to be taken away because if not then it can sit in the rest of the body and cause real psychological and physical issues so pink tourmaline is that crystal that I would choose for deep rooted pain of losing someone you love there's also another side to pink tourmaline that I'd like to talk about and that is the power the power that it has in many different ways one of the ways that i always used to like to use tourmaline is take it out and rub it on my temples and that seemed to help me feel far more positive when i was feeling a little bit off sometimes we're uh, off balance we don't know why uh, it's not we can't put our finger on it but today is not such a good day pink tourmaline uh, just across the temples both sides uh, before you go to sleep, just lay on your temple for a while, and uh, it just seems to help. It just seems to help. My clients used to come, and sometimes they were a little bit off, and, and I could see they're a bit off. I don't know whether it was anger, I didn't ask them, but every time I laid them down, I would put a piece of tourmaline, pink tourmaline, on the side of their temple, and after the healing session, I could see so quickly that it would relieve uh, release, uh, r relieve all of those um, issues. So it, it kind of opens and clears a lot of negativity away from you. Um, I did say that it's best to leave on uh, sitting on the heart chakra. I, I really believe that. Um, it's great for uh, any kind of child that is very, very sensitive. Anything else? Um, it works really well with black tourmaline. Um, anything else? I think that's predominantly how I would use it if I'm using it, if I'm like fully working as a healer again. It would always be there on my, on my tool uh, table and it will be there for children who ha have suffered with trauma. Uh, let me tell you this, if you have suffered with trauma and you're older, it will still work equally as well. But all I'm telling you is what I remember most about this crystal. Of course, I healed many people in many different ways. That's it, I hope this um, video serves you well. I hope you can uh, support your local crystal store. 
By the way, the polished is no different from the natural. They're both equal the same. It's just that the polished is far more difficult to break than, than this because this chips very quickly like black tourmaline. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all when it chips. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you've got a piece like this and it's been polished, then that's gonna last a long, long time and stay in that particular um, color and and feels nice as well. I mean, I guess this would be far more better if you're using it because it's not gonna scratch you. Whereas this, you you you, you can feel it scratching you, but Eddie, it, it doesn't make any difference to me. It still feels nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. So again, support your local crystal store. If you haven't already become a subscriber on Mark Bayeski Crystals channel, get yourself over there and watch the one of over 300 crystal uh, videos that I've made. And also thank you so much for supporting Mark Bayeski Crystals um, and incense and oils by going to markbayeski.com. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy one of these beautiful crystals that I'm about to upload as much as I loved working with them in these past couple of weeks. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Love you all.